Marguerite Makes a Book, written by Bruce Robertson, illustrated by Katherine Hewitt. In which we meet Marguerite, Papa Jacques, the loathsome André, and Master Raymond. In a small house in Paris, nearly 600 years ago, lived a man who made beautiful books. His name was Jacques the Painter, but he was affectionately known as Papa Jacques because he was the oldest and most famous book painter in all of Paris. He lived on a street in front of the great cathedral of Notre Dame with all the other people who made and sold books. Papa Jacques' books, called manuscripts, were greatly admired because he painted or illustrated each one by hand. He had even made books for the king and queen, paintings, painting the margins with swans and lilies and brightly colored birds. But Papa Jacques was getting old. His hands sometimes trembled, and he couldn't see as well as he used to. And he was late finishing a prayer book called A Book of Hours for his patron, Lady Isabel. One morning, Papa Jacques' only daughter, Marguerite, rose early to light the fire and prepare Papa's workshop. She set out clean brushes and oyster shells to hold the paints, and carefully placed Papa's most precious possession, his eyeglasses, on the table. She was very nervous, for today was the day Lady Isabel's steward, André, would come to check on the progress of the prayer book. As she arranged Papa's work table, Marguerite began to imagine herself dressed in fine clothes and dreamed of riding in a carriage with horses like Lady Isabel. She had glanced, excuse me, she had glimpsed the noble lady with the kind face once as she rode by. An impatient knock startled Marguerite out of her daydream. As Papa Jacques slowly made his way, to the door. Marguerite prayed that today his hands would not tremble. Is the book ready? André demanded. I'm afraid not, Papa Jacques answered, but there's just a little more to do. Well, in three days, Lady Isabel will be celebrating her name day, André announced. If it isn't ready by then, he warned, she's not going to pay for it. That I promise, and I'll find someone else who can finish it. Papa Jacques was alarmed, but my expenses, my materials, my time, he stammered. Lady Isabel will tell everyone that you are too old to make books, Andre said, and she'll be right, too. With that, he stomped out. Mama Marie stared at the door. He had slammed behind him. We don't need his insults or his threats, she said, but we do need the money. Don't you worry. Don't worry, Papa, said Marguerite. Let me help you finish the book. There are just a few pictures left, and I know how to do the work. I can do it. Papa Jacques looked at his daughter and shook his head. No, my dear, it's my painting they want. But come with me now on my errands. Where did I leave my list? Marguerite and Papa stepped out into the crowded, noisy street. Marguerite stayed close to her father's side, walking carefully on the slippery cobblestones, ready to catch Papa if he stumbled. They headed toward a large house directly across from the cathedral. There lived the most prosperous bookseller in Paris, Master Raymond, the library. I was waiting for you, said Master Raymond. I have those prayers you needed from Christian the scribe, he said handing to Jacques a bundle of parchment pages. They were covered with Cretian's beautiful writing. I hope this time he left enough space for your pictures. Get some more parchment, though just to be safe, he paused. You know, Lady Isabel is getting anxious for her book. Did she give you the money for my expenses, asked Papa Jacques, a note of desperation in his voice. I'm afraid not, Master Raymond frowned. How are your eyes, Jacques? Marguerite glanced nervously at her father. Will you come for gold leaf and powdered gold, sir, she said. It's already paid for. Raymond opened a drawer and took out a tidy stack of square pages, pieces of paper. He fanned them open. Gold leaf, the bookseller whispered. It gleams like the sun of heaven above. 
Marguerite Popper Jacques said, sounding irritated. It's time we finish our errands. Master Raymond, will you loan me a few francs until the book is finished? I thank you, sir. Papa Jacques took Marguerite's hand and led her outside. Absently, he started to walk into the street. Just at that moment, a horse-drawn cart careened around the corner, directly into Papa Jacques's path, knocking him down. Papa! Marguerite screamed. I'm all right, Marguerite, he said, getting shakily to his feet. But look, he cried. There, between two paving stones, were his glasses bent and twisted. We'll read chapter two in the next video.